Hello, my little munchkins, my little crones, and my little sunflowers. How are you on this fine, fine Tuesday afternoon, yes. I should say? What time is it, baby crone? It is 2.22. Woo, 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 Three woo, twos. Woo, woo, look woo, at that. Two, two, two. That's important. So we're looking at twos. So when we look at twos, we look at togetherness. We look at um, um, love because it takes two people yes. to create a spark really amongst two people. Yes. So it takes rubbing against something to make a spark. So with that being said, I hope your day is going great and I hope everything at work or home or whatever you're doing is copacetic. With that being said, we're getting ready to talk about it. You know what it is, Sister Wives. Ooh, ooh. And this is episode 10. Let's get into Another it. Another even number. Okay, now let me just go on. Let me just get my little vent out the way. Okay. I thought that it's it's got to be, it's got to be the way they cutting this. Okay. Because I thought Mari said bye bye bye, baby. That's no lie. She that's what I thought and she said. Why is she still there? What about the house? What is going on? I don't know. Why is she there? How how many ways? How can Cody say? <laughs> I don't want you. There is no spire. I don't want you, ugly lady. I, I mean, what can he say? You ugly. I don't, what can he say? Hey. What can he say? Go trip. Yeah. What can <laughs> he say to her? What? Tell me. Because she's like, I'm not going. Now, this is the thing between her and, and Robin. Okay. I don't know where to look because now it's like, I'm not leaving. And Cody is befuddled, like, he what is. do I have to tell this woman? But he did one thing. He finally admitted it. Thank you, Cody. After all of this BS he yes. done put us through, he finally said that, what's her name? Robin. Robin. And she's the most forgettable name for me, honestly. Is the woman, is what the love, love of, of my life. life. Yep. Now you tell me, okay, I'm going to let you go, baby. Okay. I'm going to leave you with this. We're going to talk about it. Why? Why is Janelle still struggling? Tell with this? me. And knowing that she knows that he is, that, that Robin is the love of her life. Yes. She knows it. Mm -hmm. she Why does. is she doing this? I have no well, idea. Why? I'm going to tell you what I think. And baby crone take over. Okay. I truly believe that. I truly believe this. I didn't believe it. I was making excuses because she seems like she's the brightest bulb in the lamp. She like, does. She does. But really, to contrary, she isn't. She's the weakest. Why? Because at the end of the day, Janelle had very low self-esteem. Yeah. Very low. Very low. And that is what Cody counts on. Mm -hmm. He counts on low self-esteem women. He thought Christine was low self-esteem. Yes, he did. But Christine was, but Christine rised up out of that. But I don't know. And I'm like Christine. I'm done. I'm like Christine. Why in the hell Yes. after this would you want to go back to a plural marriage at yes. your age? Mm -hmm. You're not fruitful. Who wants you? I'm just done. Yeah. All right, baby. Mm -hmm. I'm just, we're going to talk about it. But I just had to vent early because I don't think I could sit through it and go on. Go ahead, baby. Go on. Thank you for listening. Okay. Well, first off, we're going to get Mary out the way as always first because she only that has like woman. a scene oh my every once God. in a while. So this, okay. So let's talk about this. We here at the News of Tarot have came to the conclusion that Mary is desperate for a man. Yes, definitely. Whenever she's she crushing see anything, on her best friend's husband. Honestly, when she saw the ribs of his underwear, she was like, <laughs> I'm yes. like, really, Mary? Mm -hmm. If she seeks anything, I'm not used to having a man around. Mary, if that's the way you feel, sweetheart, why don't you just go and get a man and commit adultery and be over? Yes, and say, Cody, I have sex with somebody, you're free. Because that's all it takes, apparently. Yes, that's all it takes, and, apparently. And apparently, that's her style. <laughs> yes. And I heard somewhere, I don't know how true this is, I heard that uh, Christine was upset that she found, I don't know how true this is, that she found out that Cody and um, Robin had sex, premarital sex. 
Oh, okay. I saw that somewhere. If that's that's not cool. I mean, it does sound that's vaguely cool. familiar. Yeah, that's not cool. But mm-hmm. go ahead, baby, Chrome. Go here. Yes. Bring us so, home. Take us to the bridge. Yeah. I'm so be quiet. with that, we're just saying that it seems like Mary is just jealous of her best friend's love and her marriage, and she just say it wants again. Say it again. That Mary maybe not jealous. Yeah. Yeah, jealous. Because yeah, she, she doesn't seem envious. So, yes, jealous. Yes, yes, she, Wishing that she had that. Yes. But she, she can have it. She can. If you if just let soft, Cody go. Soften herself up a little bit, lose a couple of pounds, and lighten her hair, and get some Botox, mm-hmm. and not look like you a dude, you can do it. Yes. Because God know that woman looked like a man to me. Yes. And another thing is, is with Mary is that... She feels as though Robin asked her to work things out by saying, stick it out, just work it out. If you just stay uh, about here a another, bit longer. what, 10, 15 years. Um, when he gets over, when th- this is the kicker. When he gets over being upset with, with Christine, Christine yes. that's never going to happen. <laughs> that, you look in that ne- ne- never. Yes. That ain't never, ever, right ever, uh-uh. never going to happen. He ain't never. You mentioned Christine. He's like, that. Christine ruined my life. No, that Christine woke up from you, you joker, and said, you know what, I'm done. I'm going to go get me some peen and some love and some hugs and some kisses. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to get down tonight. And he can't stand it. That's right, your Chris- Christine gone. And she's married. Yeah. And she's getting love, 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 baby. The love that you wouldn't give her. Huh? Yes. <laughs> go ahead, Christine. <laughs> Yeah, and um, interestingly enough, last on Mary, because she had said, speaking of Cody and this divorce and marriage, um, he's Mary said that he's been through a divorce already. Can he really handle another one? Hinting at, I guess she wants to divorce him, but she doesn't want to put Cody through another divorce. Cool. Mary. Mary is full of sugar, honey, iced tea. I said it. I'm sick of it. Why don't she go? She's just so masculine. She. She just, ooh, when I just feel like I'm soft towards her and, that is true. and I want her on, she can be on all she wants, but just oh. be free of the Cody. Just stop. It's nauseating. It's, it, it gives me a headache. I, I, I don't understand it. Yes. He don't want you. I, I don't understand. And she's like, well, you don't have to want me. I'm just going to stay here. Anyway, Cody, I don't think anybody wanna. Um, yeah. Okay, that's not nice. I'm gonna. Uh, no, nice. but who that gave me an ass attack? Let me yes, stop. It, I feel faint headed. Let me stop. Yes, go. Okay, breathing I'm like down. breathing like that will make you lightheaded. I've experienced it just trying to mimic her. But what <laughs> Thank I find you for warning me. <laughs> sorry. What I find very interesting is the fact that Robin says that the connection that Mary has with her kids is very important during this time. And Rob and Mary even says that she wants to stay around people that love her unconditionally. And she said that this feels good. She wants to be here for this, but not Cody. But she wants to be here for Robin and the kids and the love. Now, (laughs) as I understand it, Mary have said several times, and so have Cody, Uh they don't hardly see Mary. They don't hardly see Mark. Oh my God, now. you right. They said they, oh God, they hardly that ever me. see. And when that was a visit, that was a rare visit. You seen the children jump out yes, the car? Yes, Mary. Oh, hold on. She probably said, when y'all see Mary, she's feeling low. Run to Mary. Act like you really messed up. <laughs> Camera's going to be on. Oh, man, that looks so corny. She was, Mary was like, should I get up? Should I stay down? And she was like, oh, I was like, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. And I'm confused with the dynamics of Mary and Robin's relationship. Mm -hmm. I am too. Because one minute Robin is speaking out of the mouth. I want Mary to go on. I hope she finds love. Get No, she don't say that, but go on with your life. And then on the other hand, I don't want her to go. Just wait. And Mary is the same. They Mary both delusional. Said that they, I'm just done. I can't. <laughs> yes. Is this for a check? Because apparently Mari seemed like she's the richest one. You're right. It outside does. of Cody. Right. Because she Cody feels like he don't care. Like he missed. He don't want no women. So Cody must be financially okay. It's the women. Yeah. They the ones who Christine left and said, I got my little piece and I'm out. 
Now it's just Janelle and her tail. I just can't with her. Yes. And um, let me say this. That every time Christine tries to encourage her, yes. it, it seems like Janelle feels like, stop trying to push me. She's not trying to push you, baby. She just have, she just feeling where you at so much. Yes. She just wants you free. Yes. That is just love. She's feeling your hurt. She's you. feeling your hurt, your disappointment. She's in the ground with you. And all she's saying is come on out and peek out your head. Come on, groundhog. Yes. Come on. We don't have to have six more months. A bad weather, you know, it's six weeks. Yeah. We don't have to have six more months of bad weather. Come on out that hole, you groundhog. And she like, okay, I'm she's... scared, but she won't admit she's scared. No, she won't admit that she's scared. She won't admit she's afraid. No, she's still standing and strong. And even if I do come out, I'm standing the life. I'm just right, right. yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm still, and, and Christine is like, sweetheart. You don't want that. You don't want that. Yeah, yes, I do. Yeah, who going to want her? She right. would just be a Passover. Like, I would take her because I just need a wife. Mm -hmm. Bring some money. She's about ready to retire in, in about, what, 10 years? Yeah. Or 15 years yeah, or so. I don't know. She probably, that old, how old is she? She could be in her 40s. No, she ain't in her 40s. She's probably 50. She probably 51, 52 years old. She look old. I ain't lying. That life done beat the life out of all of them. The only one, and even, 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 even um, Robin look old. She's 54. 54 years old. So she's looking at 54. She's looking at 11 more years of retirement. Mm, okay. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And she might retire early at 62. So she ain't got long, folks. She yeah. ain't got long. Um, since this was the episode about the holidays, what I find very interesting is that Cody believed that in order to be more closer to their religion, that it would be better to celebrate Passover rather than celebrating um, Easter. And so therefore he made all his wives stop performing Easter and celebrate Passover. However, when Robin came into the picture, she still wanted to celebrate Easter. So therefore they had to have a hybrid Easter Passover holiday to accommodate Robin. And that's kind of unfair because why are you backpedaling? You don't celebrate Easter, but now you want to celebrate Easter because your love of your life celebrates Easter now. And now you're going to change it up for all your wives after you made them well, stop this is celebrating old. This is Easter. a past. Tense. This is a past. Yes. This is the way it was. Should At the end of the right. day, if you ask me my opinion, I think it should be Passover. I think Fair that enough. Christians should celebrate all the Jewish holidays since they serve a Jewish Messiah. But you know what? We'll say that for another day. Yes. But my point is, I don't see anything wrong with them paying Passover. And if they want to do uh, both, do both. That's what I feel, how you end that. However, the thing is, Cody doesn't want no reunion. Cody doesn't want no kind of family reunion. No. He really doesn't want to see Mary. And the kicker is, if he's going to stay with Janelle, and this is all fair, I'm willing to take Janelle. I'm yes. willing to take her. I'm willing to sleep with her. I'm willing to kiss her lips. Mm -hmm. I'm willing to do that with Janelle. However, if I do, yeah. you're going to have to have holidays at my house, A, B, I don't give a darn bound about your kids. They don't come before me. And you certainly cannot be friends or have any contact yes. with Christine. Mm -hmm. And you know what? As hard as it sounds, that's fair. Okay. That's fair. Okay, okay. I can see that. Fair that's enough. fair. That's fair. fair. Because he feels like Chris, well, Christine is slightly. No, because Christine is the one that got away with the loot. It would have been fine if she would have left with nothing and broke poor. But no, got Christine know. got a house. No, she said she was smart. And I don't know. I just, I'm really starting to really see that um, Janelle, she's the weakest link. Okay. I, it's not Mary. Mary is just, I, I, I sometimes wonder if Murray is doing this just to aggravate Cody. Because that would be the only logical sense I can make out of it. I'm not going nowhere, Cody. I'm still here. I'm not selling. I'll be back. You ain't get rid of me. I'll be back. Yeah. And that's what I think. That's like she ain't going. It's like torture to Cody. He's it like, is, I don't know what to do.
Yes. Cody. He's, he's Cody is like, He's like, and that would scare me. Yes. And he's feeling, and I'm thinking that's what Mary is doing, terrorizing Cody. Mm -hmm. With the breathing hard and the, the masculinity. I ain't going, Cody. I ain't going. I'll be back. He's like, and Robin is like, good, good. You push Cody hard enough. I'm telling you, Cody going to cut Robin. <laughs> yeah, for real. That'll keep pushing. What Robin doing right now is showing rank. Robin is like, I got all bit of everybody else, but I want her. That Make it true. happen, Cody. And Cody's trying, but yes. Cody's trying only, only 20, 30 percent. Because he don't want her. He don't want her. But I think that Cody, I don't know how he could say it, but I think it's loud and clear. Murray don't want to hear it. Yeah. Murray is out to hurt, Cody. You're going to have me, Cody. You lied to me, Cody. I gave you the divorce, Cody, and I'm your wife still. That's what I'm getting out of this. Yes, yeah, speaking Unless of the divorce. Unless she leave and just don't come back, but she just seemed like a wart. Okay. She finds her way back. God knows she does. She's she, stubborn, stubborn. <laughs> she really is. I wonder what her zodiac sign is. But we do notice that Cody is... Aries. Uh, okay. A Virgo. <laughs> uh, maybe not a Virgo. Pull it up. Okay. I'm saying she's a far sign. Or air sign. No, I don't see her as no air. But I definitely see her something with true grit. Maybe um, a Virgo. I'm sticking with the Virgo that's air. Figure. A Capricorn. Earth. Yes. I was trying to figure out what was the next element. But I was... Uh, Virgo is, is an earth, earth sign. sign. Yes. Am I right? Yes. I would have put her with a Taurus, but a Capricorn. I felt it. I felt it because she's so earthy. It's like she won't be moved. She Like the Taurus, mm -hmm. she won't be moved. It's like, why is she doing it? She's got a reason behind it. Why? She's going to move when she's ready. But in the meanwhile, to me, this is just a typical earth sign. I'm here, Cody. <laughs> yes. I shall That's not true. be moved. Oh, no, no, Cody. I'm going to work on my business, but I'm here. <laughs> I'm right here, Cody. I know y'all don't visit me, but I'm here. And he's looking at her like, I just don't know what to do. He's like this. I just don't know what to do with Actually, speaking of which, yes, we now found the um, backstory behind Mary and Rob, uh, Mary and Cody. Apparently, they dated for six months before getting married. She was 19 and he was 22. So literally they all they know. And they came and she came across this when she looked at um, Robin's daughter. That's her age. As a matter of fact, younger. And she realized how young they were. Yes. Yeah. So if you realize that the man now has evolved, he realized this is what he want. So let him go, Mary. Let him go. Let him go. Stop terrorizing that man because you are absolutely terrorizing that man. You are. You are. And you're, you're doing it with his wife. Stop yes. it. Let her have him. She went all through this. Let her have him. And Mary, stop terrorizing him because you're, you're being a meanie. Okay. That to me, I think she's doing it deliberately at this point. He's, she's an earth sign too. Yes. She's, what is it? The Capricorn, Orange. Balfour met the yep. devil oh, himself. Yep. The devil himself. She's a motive behind it. <laughs> yeah, there is a motive she, behind it. She's true grit. Most she's definitely. like, uh-uh, Cody, when I leave, when, but when she, if she should ever leave, she's going to, she'll really leave. That is true. When she cut, she's going to cut. But in the meantime, and when she do it, she probably won't even let Robin know. Because she know all this is phony. Yeah, you right, you right. Mary and Robin tells us. is using her to stay relevant to bring that money in. That's all this is. This is a check. Oh my God, they got it planned out, of course. This is a check. And this is a check and they getting paid. You ain't telling me otherwise. This is all a check. As far as I'm concerned, I do enjoy the show. But if I got a stomach and it's still in this perpetual place next year, they can can it as far as I'm concerned. Okay. What do you mean? They need to evolve. We don't need another year of this. That is true. Another year of Mary? I think I couldn't handle it. Okay. Another year of Mary saying, I ain't going, Cody. Another year of Christine, I don't know. Not you Christine. Janelle. Janelle, I don't know. And really, another year's, I don't know. 
I don't know. We really. I don't think she's crying as much. This no, season. but but next year she will. Yeah, you're right. So my point is, I don't think we can handle another season. Okay. Something has to change. That's true. Something. I don't know what, but I know it cannot go on like this because yes. it's starting to be monotonous. And I'm just being honest. And I love the show. And I'm not trying to get the show canceled. But the same old stuff is starting to be redundant. And now it's like, it's enough already. Mm -hmm. Like with the Mary and the Janelle. Fair enough. You know, one minute you're out to dinner, she turns off the camera. She comes back, nothing. Nothing. Come on. I just, mm mm-mm. Yeah. And speaking of Janelle about that, she said that after they went on their date for her birthday, he hasn't talked to her, I think, in In two two weeks. weeks. Mm Mm-hmm. So what is she? And, and what Christine, did you get out of that? What do you get out of it? Nothing. She said, "I want to hold his hand because you was cold to him. You're angry. You're jealous, and you don't want to admit it. You want to say I'm okay with that, but you're not. That is true. You're really not okay. You just lie to yourself, and the more you lie to yourself, the more you prolong the agony and understanding and accepting the fact Cody doesn't love you. And at the end of the day, Cody never was in love with you, Janelle. Yeah, that's true. He was true. never in love with none of you. Nope. He's if in love. If there was anybody he could have been in love with, it was Mary, because he married her. Okay. And that what didn't last very long. No, it did not. So... He doesn't love you. You all know it. The producers know it. I know that this has to come to a change. Please. It's got to do something. Right. What um, do you think? Yes. And what? And lastly, I want to touch on, before briefly mentioning the kids, is that the one thing that I really love Christine talking about is how Robin is the bad wife because she monopolized the husband in the plural marriage. And... Basically, she monopolized him to do whatever she wants and basically manipulate him in a sense. And it's clear because everyone says it, even Janelle and Christine, they were saying, we believe he lives a monogamous life. Like he is. Well, the fact of the matter is he's already admitted it. He was never supposed to say that Robin was his love. of of He broke the covenant. Because being a pro, this is what they say, you can never show favoritism. You can never say it. So he's broke. This is what I'm saying. It can't go on now. We wanted him to say it last year. He did it. So now he says it on his own. Nobody's thinking. Nobody's beckoning him to say it. Uh-uh. And he finally says it. Yes. He says it. And now it's like, what, we're supposed to get death to it? No. What that means is... I don't want that. Like he done said it loud and clear. Yes, I just want my wife, but she wants me to have this plural wife. Mm-hmm. So what I get, just like he claims the other three wives ran him ragged, doing this, that, and the other thing. Okay. According to what's going on, it seems that now one wife, Robin, is running him ragged. Yes. It seems like he's the kind of man that a woman has to tell him what to do. Oh. And he can handle, he can handle, he couldn't handle three women, no. but he feels like he can handle one woman telling him what to do because this done ran him ragged. And now Robin understands that. And Robin is saying, I want Mary. And he's like, I don't want Mary. But I'm thinking that sooner or later, something's got to give with that. Yeah, for real. It's a lopsided relationship. It's so lopsided. There's nothing he can do about it. You can't make him love who he doesn't love. And it's not even about loving. And how dare Robin ask in her own subconscious to have Mary to wait until he gets over Christine. That's a never. No, not a never. Never, (laughs) never going to happen. No, because when you, if it hasn't happened, it's over a year. Yeah, you're right. No, it's going, it's two years just about. Could be. Sometimes you'll just never get over something. You'll, you'll be able to mention it and not, but you'll always feel a little sting, but you can carry on or you can get over something and you don't cry about it no more. Okay. That would be the best of you getting over here. We'll never get over it. Trust and believe that. 
Christine scarred him for life. She shot a big old hole in his ego. Oh, yeah. Because he didn't see her coming. No, he didn't. And she did go. And not only that, when she left, she even helped him load some of the stuff up on the truck. Right. Unsuspecting. And he was griping along the way. Yes, but he, he didn't know what to do. But if he could do it now, he's doing nothing. But see, yes. she took him off yeah, guard. Yeah, you live and you learn. You live and you learn. So at the end of the day, I, I just know I'm, I, I can't take no more Mary with this. It's, it's, pathet it's pathetic. It's too pathetic. And Janelle, I get it. She's just suffering, just having to let the dream go. I think her kids might be too, or at least they're trying to put a front up on the fact that they don't care because they probably don't because they not intimate. They wasn't intimate with them. True. They when you know when they came around, life was hard. It was different. So when they was when they when he left, you know, they life went normal. He was disrupt their atmosphere. Remember, he was only there maybe once or twice a week. Yeah, that's true. So that was you know he was a drop in dad. He spent the night. That was it. I don't know. They were there on their own to defend for each other, I yeah, guess. Like, yeah. But yes, because the kids were talking about, even though it was Easter, they were already planning their Thanksgiving and Christmas because they already knew they wasn't going to be spending it with their dad. Well, they already had Thanksgiving. Yeah, but they're, it's Easter and they're planning for the next Thanksgiving. Okay. Yes, and the next Christmas that's coming because... They know it's not going to be with their dad or with the rest of the family. So they're just like, well, my thing is, what are we going to do? I don't want to be sitting around in a powwow all the time with the kids and everybody talking about the same old thing and nothing changed. You know, it, I'm just saying, that's all I'm saying. I'm, I'm just saying. There's only so much I think we can hear the kids talk about at their little powwow when they come together. Yeah, it's so real. much. And it's so much I can take of Mary I ain't leaving so much. And it's so much you see poor little Janelle, poor little Janelle. just can't get her head up out the sand. It's just so much of it that you can take because it's like you just because we are the spectators and we want each and every last one of those women free. Yes, we really do. And whatever that takes, you know, and, and they find we all finally saying Robin can have them. Yes. We've all just said Everyone's Robin coming to that. have them. Robin, you got them. Even the kids. Mm -hmm. Even Mary, in a way, is saying it. But she's like, but I'm on the side, though. <laughs> yes. Don't count me out, buddy. Because <laughs> I'm here. All right? Exhausted I and I ain't busted. going nowhere. I drive five hours. But I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> and that woman, she takes the oxygen out of the room for me. So, I mean, anyway, for real, she else? really does. What else? That was pretty much it for That's this episode, it? yes. Because um, besides the fact that Janelle and Christine talk about how when they come together to celebrate holidays, it's just a pe peaceful atmosphere and they just yeah. love it. Yeah. So. That's good to know that they still are in good company with each other. Oh, speaking of which, mm -hmm. Janelle talked about how she hardly ever sees Mary and Robin. Well, that she doesn't because they're not close. They, they're not close. Right, but she says she hasn't even seen so them. So I'm this. like, so that was like, wow, that was six months at the time when she said it. Yeah, so not even that, in passing. That's crazy. They, I mean, Utah is a big state. So. so yeah, so that was pretty much it. That just really shows you the disconnect in the family the and how they disconnect. really are divided. And this is this is why I'm saying for Janelle to still be stuck, I can understand Christine too. I'm going to support you no matter what. But come on, you're going to have to wake up and smell the daffodils. Yes. Come on now. It's enough already. And Mary, Cody's being patient with you. Mm -hmm. I think so. Well, too patient. I, I think Cody is being nice because Cody could you just maybe just have to come out and says, I don't know how you say it. He already turned to kiss down. He already said no. I don't know. You people just, just want just him to say, I don't want you. That's not the right thing to do. Yeah, and I'm sure Mary won't even register it. She's like, Oh, you just don't want me right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, his wife would be over there saying, you want to, Cody? You'll get over it. You'll see. You'll see. In 10 years, maybe. 13. But you'll get over it. Mary, stay, Mary. Stay. Yeah. 
Well, with that being said, think on that juice because yes. that's cray cray. It really so is. So it is to ask any one of that, but that's all up to Mary. Breathing hard, Mary. So with that <sighs> being said, I hope you yes. enjoyed our recap of it. I know when I, from the moment it came on, I was fussing. Yes, you really I was. I was fussing from the moment it came on to the moment it went off. However, I really do enjoy the show. But this redundantness. I is, was just finally jumping for joy. He said it when he said, well, we Robin's the it. love of my life. I was like. I know. She <laughs> held it because I had drifted off. And, and I couldn't even believe it. She says, I want you to see something. And I had to watch five minutes. I didn't know. But when I said, did he actually say that? She said, that's what I wanted you to see. He said it. So snap, snap, snap. Yes, he finally. said it. The truth so is now, out. The truth is out. There is, what else can we ask for, guys? Yes. Other than we see you next week when we do Sister Wise. We hope you enjoy our rendition and our, what, commentary yes. of Sister Wives. We so enjoy talking to you about it, right, baby? Yes, Carl? we do. And until next week, next time, yes. episode what? 11. We'll see you then. Sunflowers! <laughs>